All right, YouTube, here's the real rundown on a 450, a TRX 450ER starting clutch, which is this piece right here. Uh, if your bike don't start, listen to this video. I've watched all the other videos, really not informative enough, so I've gotten to the point where I can definitely make a video and help you fix your bike. So here goes. The starting clutch here on the Hondas, to my knowledge, they make an update kit. I didn't see any difference in the update kit, visible difference, after I bought it. I bought one for this thinking that that's what was wrong with the bike. I should have went by my gut feeling in the Honda book because the one that was in it um, actually works. So I spent about 260 some odd dollars uh, on something I really didn't need at this time. But that is a pretty major problem on these bikes. So don't dismiss that as uh, not being bad on your bike. According to Honda and me if this thing turns counterclockwise but won't turn clockwise that's an operational starting clutch and the one that come off my bike was like that and I took it apart and it did have some wear in it but uh, not really enough for me to want to replace it but I went ahead and did it anyway the other problem with these bikes uh, is this gear set here and originally Honda had this gear set with a uh, copper washer and a clip on it and there are three different part numbers for these things so if you get the uh, latest part number I think has got a two at the end or something uh, you'll have the most up-to-date one now I didn't do this on mine what we did and I don't suggest this either because this was professionally done but we actually uh, TIG welded it my camera's not going to focus for you, sorry. Uh, TIG welded this thing and uh, managed to do a, a really good job on it and it didn't interfere with this turning. So this was actually what was wrong with my bike. These two gears would spin independently of each other and they're not supposed to. So if you take your cover off and hit the starter and the these two little gears that are going to sit right there if one spins and not the other that's the problem it's only 60 bucks if you want to order one they got them on the internet they got uh, on eBay everywhere but I didn't really want to do that I wanted to try TIG welding it and uh, that was my fix so if you're going to try that man get get a professional to do it don't use your little uh, wire welder you got there You'll probably screw these parts up. These are precision, uh, you know, heat-tempered parts. So, to actually replace this stuff and fix this part right here, it's really pretty easy. Um, this pin here that goes in both sides. Uh, let's see if I can hold the camera and do it for you. That fits on like that once it's on. But you got to put this on before you put the cover on. And I think. I can do it with one hand let's see and I'm right-handed and that's my left hand but. yep there it goes so that's how it looks when it's in there I know it's dark over here in the back of the shop but uh, that's gonna fix my bike um, if you need to see any of the torque specs any of what Honda says about this all that good stuff I've got uh, this 450ER uh, repair manual in the form of a video uh, on my same channel here. Uh, I'll try to link to it uh, right, right below the video. And um, that way you can go and see uh, what Honda says about it and, and you know figure anything else out that I didn't cover. Um, you'll need to watch that video in, in high definition because the you know it is written out. There's no sound. 
but uh, I hope this helps if anybody's got any questions uh, just shoot them to me in a comment um, and uh, I'll do the best job I can answering like I said uh, hopefully y'all can uh, learn uh, from this but, uh, and not make such a costly buy like I did on uh, replacing the starting clutch and it was just this little gear pack but uh that's okay um, I like the bike I'm gonna keep it uh, it's, it's just not gonna kill me on that so uh, I'll put this thing back together and make some more videos I've never rode this bike I've never rode a 450R so it'll be a kind of a neat experience y'all get to see that too